Hello this is Amit from Digital Inspiration and in today's episode I'll show you how to schedule your Gmail messages using Google Sheets. Now you don't have to grant access to your Gmail account to any third party service. You don't need to install any browser add-ons. All you need is a simple Google Sheet and you will be able to schedule your Gmail messages and send them automatically at any specific date or time. So here are the steps involved. So I'll go to my Gmail account and create a new uh, draft message. I'll put the recipient's email address in the to field, the subject and something in the message body. Now this is just like a regular message. So you can have inline images, you can include uh, attachments or you can even include your email signature. So this is just like a regular message. The only difference is uh, instead of hitting the send button, you just let it stay there in your drafts folder. So here I have written a message uh, wishing a colleague happy birthday on his birthday but I don't want to deliver it right now I want to deliver it on the exact day when his birthday falls So for this example I'll compose another uh, email message this time I'm sending a PDF report to a colleague so I'll write the message body, include the PDF attachment, but again, I won't hit the send button. So this message would stay there in my drafts folder of my Gmail account. So now that my drafts are ready, I'll switch to the Google Sheet. You can find a link to this sheet in the show notes and I'll choose the authorize option under the Gmail scheduler menu. Now the first time you run this sheet, it will require certain permissions because this sheet has to read your Gmail drafts and send mails on your behalf. So just click accept at the authorization prompt. Internally there is a Google script running that's reading your Gmail drafts and sending them at the specified time and date. And you can find the entire source code under Tools Script Editor. Next I'll bring the Gmail draft messages into my Google Sheet. So for that I'll choose Gmail Scheduler and the Fetch Messages option. Now this will import all my draft messages from Gmail into this Google Sheet. So here comes the interesting part. Now I'll set the date and time when I want these messages to be delivered. So for that what I'll do is I'll just double click any cell under the schedule time column and it will open a date picker. So I can visually select a date when I would like a message to be delivered. Alternatively I can just double click a cell and write the date and time manually in a particular format. Now this Google Sheet has a list of all messages that were found in my drafts folder. If there are some messages that I would not like to schedule, I can either delete those rows from this sheet or I can leave the scheduled uh, time column for those rows blank and it won't add them to the queue. So we are almost done here. I'll go to the Gmail scheduler menu again and choose schedule messages. Now what will happen is it will uh, populate the status column of this Google Sheet to tell what's the status of individual messages. So for messages that are in the queue, the status would be scheduled and for messages that are not in the queue, the status would be not scheduled. In case it detects some error, it, the, the status will automatically reflect that. So we are done from the Google Sheet side and we can close this sheet and it will execute automatically at the specific date and time and the messages would go. So let's do a quick test. So the status has changed from scheduled to delivered and I go to my Gmail drafts folder and you can see that the happy birthday message is no longer there. So I go to my sent mail folder and there you can see that the message has been delivered at the specified date and time. So this is how easy it is to schedule messages in Gmail through Google Sheet. And uh, if you ever want to cancel uh, all the scheduled messages, all you have to do is go to the Gmail scheduler menu again and choose cancel pending jobs. It will remove all the messages that are in the queue. I hope you find this useful. Thanks.